Neil is here for his first official lesson. He's had one previous lesson where we went over some forehand stuff. And then since he has brought me on as his coach to take him to the 4.5 level, we're actually going to sit down and go through some concepts for him to get him a clear path on how we can help him play great tennis. And for the last week and a half, Neil has been emailing me. He's been very diligent. He's been uh, giving me his nutrition plan, uh, his tennis plan, his, his inner demons, if you will, all the things he's been struggling with. And, and things aren't feeling great for him right now. So it's my job as a coach to help him get on that clear path to success and to improve. So now I'm going to turn it over to Neil. I'm going to take over the camera, and he is going to tell me kind of what he's been feeling. And then we're going to come up with a plan for today and also for the next couple of weeks. So, Neil, talk to me about where you're at with your tennis and how, how you think you can get to the next level or what's missing and, and what, what's going to happen next. Well, I started playing again back in June, and um, I really sucked in the beginning. Then got a little bit better just from repetition and getting back into a little bit better shape. Then uh, things got worse, really, um, when I started trying to think about too many things to do. So I just haven't had any rhythm on the court lately. Um, my forward, my ground strokes, just in general, are pretty erratic. You know, I'll, I'll hit a, a great one one time, and then the next one's off the frame, and then um, then I'll dump one into the net, and it'll look really bad, and then it'll kind of get to me. You know, where I don't believe that the stroke that I'm hitting is actually the right one. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll know what I need to do, and I'll be thinking about it, but I'm not, uh, I'm not believing it. So it's like when I, when I take the racket back and I start to swing, and it's almost like I'm jerking it up and everything's flying long. So just consistency off of uh, both of my ground strokes is probably the thing that's killing me the most right now, because I know I can do better than that. Um, the, the, the fitness and uh, constructing points and more of the strategic side, that's probably going to take a little bit more time, but you know, just knowing that I used to be able to hit these shots a lot better than I can, and I'm not doing it now, is pretty frustrating. All right, Neil, so here's what we're going to do. I, I got a chance to hear that rant. I've seen some of the emails and uh, appreciate you being very, very candid about what's going on with your game. And I don't know exactly what we're going to do with the solution yet. The way that I find solutions is I usually get out there and I probe, and then we find out maybe after a couple of sessions what's working. But here's where we're going to start. The number one thing is we're going to work on your mental game, okay? Forget about your technique, forget about all these uh, coaches, me, other coaches, and all this stuff. We're not going to go there right now because we got to get you feeling good upstairs. Because I think if you have the right ideas, the right concepts, the simple concepts, everything's going to start to flow from there. And one of the things we're going to work on is your breathing. So we're going to get into that actually. Little did you know that I was a... Uh, underground meditation expert and not a tennis coach but yes we are going to work on your breathing and we're also going to work on giving you some simple visualization techniques not the normal ones where you close your eyes and you see yourself hitting the ball but more visualizing on the court because I think what's happening is you're so focused on yourself and your technique and how you're holding the racket that you're forgetting about throwing the dart to the bullseye. I mean, when you go to a restaurant and you're playing darts with your buddies and you're having a couple beers, the only thing you're doing is taking that dart and you're throwing it right to the bullseye. So I think we got to get a little bit more into the target practice concept. We're going to work on your breathing a little bit. And we're going to refine a couple of things and give that a shot the next couple of days, the next week, and see if we see some momentum in, the, in a positive direction. That's and so I've been question. looking all summer like, you know, should I be doing like ladder drills or should I be running lines, you know? Coach so. coach says no, no <laughs> ladders and no drills. He just needs to get more efficient with his movement. So we just showed him some a drill. Let's actually uh, let's document that. We're right. working on we're working on he's going to hit the ball on a wide shot and then he's going to cross over and split after instead of taking 10 steps there and 10 steps back. So go ahead and show, show us Neil. Way. Sure, go ahead. Let's show the old so the way, old bro. The old way would be that. Right. That would be my old way. Sure. All right. New way would be. That's it. Crossover, shuffle, split. Yep. 4.0 to 4.5 project. 4.5 project.com. Might throw this on JeffSalzensteinTennis.com at some point, but had an enjoyable lesson tonight under the lights 
in Denver, Colorado. We worked on a number of things, breathing. We worked on uh, posture with how he hits the ball, especially on the backhand side. Neil also learned some footwork tricks. We went over dynamic warm-up. We went over his interval training, his strength workouts. I mean, we're giving him the complete package so that he can rise above and go to the next level. So uh, be curious to see what Neil see what or hear what Neil took away from today's lesson. But for me, the number one thing is to work on aiming to targets. Uh, the number two thing is to work on hitting angles and softer angles against those dreaded pushers. I'm sure some of you out there have played the pushers. You can't play them deep. They're going to lob you, so you got to work on your angles. We worked on that as well. We worked on his posture on his backhand side. Neil made a comparison to a baseball player, so uh, the posture on swinging a baseball bat. And then we just finished up with some great footwork stuff. Awesome lesson. He's got plenty of material to work with. I'll see him next time. Hey everybody, uh, Neil Stewart with uh, 45 projectcom 4, spelled out F-O-U-R, 5project.com. I'm out here with my coach, Jeff Salzenstein, and uh, definitely got our money's worth out of the lesson tonight. Uh, covered a variety of things. I mean, even the first five minutes, just learning to breathe smooth through the stroke. Uh, I, honestly, I felt a, a difference right away. I'm, I am a grunter. I'm a guy that is, you know, kind of those forceful grunts. But that smooth breathing forced me to go ahead and relax and hit through the ball. And uh, relaxing is always a big deal for me. If I'm not relaxed, I'm just not hitting the ball as well. And honestly, tennis isn't as fun. So I uh, got that out of it tonight. And then uh, footwork, you know, I'm, I'm kind of an old school footwork guy. Um, kind of taught from the Jimmy Connors school of footwork. That's too hard, that's not very fun, it takes too much work. It's all about being efficient, so learning when to uh, use a crossover is important, and then also the split step and being ready for the next shot. So that's it, thanks to Jeff, and uh, we'll be doing this again in a couple weeks.